So let's see if we can figure this mystery out by considering the force on a wire. All right, so let's imagine what we just saw, a metallic conductor, and it has some current flowing through it that way, and it's in a magnetic field, say pointing into the board. And this time, we want to be real. We want to talk about the actual particle that's moving, it's the electron. And since the electron is a negative particle, it's drifting that way. Its drift velocity for a negative electron is against the current. Current is the flow of, of positive charge. So here is the electron. So let's think, what's it going to do? Now we said the magnetic field can't do work on a free particle. And the electron is basically free inside the metal. Right? I mean, we described that the way metals are, it's like a, the electrons are like a, um, a particles, uh, like a gas. They're free to move around inside the metal. So at first, it'll just do what it's supposed to do. Let's think about the force um, V cross B. The force is up, but it's an electron. It's negative, so the force is down. So it's going to pull it down like that. And if, as we've been talking about, it's always going to be perpendicular to the motion. The electron is going to go through a curved root, through a circular path. And what's it going to do? It's going to hit the edge of the wire. Now, when the electron is moving at all, it kind of drifts forward because it's always randomly jumping around and losing its momentum in random directions as it jumps around. But now, they're all being pushed, and they're all losing their momentum, like in the Druda model, by hitting the bottom. So they're pushing on the wire. Okay? So even though we have our electrons moving this way, the, the force to the wire is always that way. And it's able to end up doing work because the electrons are not free to do what they want to do. If they were truly free particles, they could go in a circle. That's what they want to do. They do part of their circle, and then they're interrupted by having to stay inside the wire. They're no longer free. Okay. So for the force on a wire is due to the motion of the charge carriers. We need a new equation. Oops. For FB. Okay? It's going to be essentially the same, but it actually, in terms of the forces you get and the way it behaves, it's different because those charge carriers are not free. So let's think now about what that force should be.